I, I see that this setup node events is, is like a thing that uh, gets underused, uh, if, I, mm -hmm. if I may uh, say, yeah. because it is actually super, super powerful, not only for like uh, solving different kinds of problems with, uh, with seeding your database and whatnot, yeah. but also like the ability to run any kind of script for yeah. like creating a test user, generating a token, or maybe even like calling an API that will, yeah. that will do something for you. Uh, it is really, really useful. And then when you just save it to your Cypress environment, or rather I should say maybe browser environment, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then, uh, then uh, you can just access it uh, any time. And it's, uh, and it's really, really powerful. Um, yeah. I actually made a whole live about Cypress tasks uh, a while ago when it was before V10. So it mm -hmm. was you still using the plugins uh, mm -hmm. structure. Uh, but then I showed many like uh, simple examples of using it. And then I showed open source projects that were using it to do crazy stuff, which mm -hmm. is just awesome, the power. And I think it's, you pointed something really nice because most people, I mean, I might be wrong, but the, the impression is that most testers that use Cypress, they still do too much through the graphical user interface instead of mm -hmm. using the whole power that Cypress gives you. Developers yeah. might use more of the power, but I think because of the tools that we used to use before, we mm -hmm. kind of got used to do things in a way and we don't try to understand what, what, what what else is in there that I, that could benefit my task suite, the execution time, and all that stuff? Yeah, I um, I got the impression as well. But uh, then again, like if you if you take a look at the group of people we are usually communicating with, is the people that need to, that need help. So yeah, like sure. overall, probably there are many different kinds of testers. But it's always nice to see those aha moments, like oh. Okay, so mm. I don't have to do everything through UI. I can just use API for this, and maybe this can be a powerful way of, of dealing with that. So that's yeah. uh, that's really really cool to uh, to see that those moments. That that's why I love teaching. That's where you probably love teaching as well, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, in my intermediate course, I I I teach people how to optimize their tests. And it's not that hard because it's in the, in the case of the courses using API calls to do every pre-requirement of your test and using Session to optimize authentication. Mm -hmm. And it already saves you lots of seconds or even minutes if you were, if we are talking about an application, uh, like yeah. a big task suite. So 